How's it going guys? My name is TJP and today we are back here with another MLB The Show 21 franchise rebuild and we're doing our final team in the AL Central today. It's going to be the Minnesota Twins. I'm kind of excited about them because they have a pretty good team. Uh, so uh, this should be fun. I'm excited. If you guys are excited like I am, drop a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Check out my description because I have a playlist containing other MLB The Show rebuilds and franchise rebuilds if you guys are enjoying this kind of content as well. My socials is all down below in the description with the playlist. So with that being said, guys, let's get on in the video and the gameplay and rebuild the twins. All right, guys, so let's take a look around. We've got Byron Buxton, who will be a free agent, obviously, at some point in this video. You guys already know every, the final season, so we'll have to eventually re-sign him or extend him. So I would like to keep him around. Luis Arez, um, he's a pretty good player, pretty solid player. Um, definitely want to keep him around. High potential, pretty good overall. Uh, so yeah, we'll try to keep him around. We got Nelson Cruz, a uh, big power bat in the lineup. I mean, he's a good D he's a good guy to have as a DH. I guess Josh Donaldson. Uh, you know the Twins picked him up last year. Um, he's got three years on his deal. He's gonna be our third baseman, which is nice. Got Max Kepler in right field. Uh, not too bad. Um, got Jake Cave. Uh, might look to upgrade my left field spot, uh, Andrelton Simmons. Uh, he's going to be a free agent. Might extend him, possibly. We'll see. Uh, Miguel Sano at first. Um, you know, good pop. He's got some pop, but uh, probably want to get a better first base. And Mitch Garver is our catcher. We got Jorge Polanco. Williams Astudillo, who plays a lot of different positions. He's actually a good backup catcher to have on the team. Ryan Jeffers with uh, low potential. Might look to move him. And obviously, Kyle Garlick uh, as well. Uh, Jorge Polanco. If I didn't say him, I said him now. Let's take a look at our rotation. So we got Kente Maeda, who's definitely a guy that we want to keep around. He's here basically for, you know, the entirety of the, of the season. We got Jose Barrios, uh, who's, you know, someone we want to keep, I, I would think. I got Michael Pineda, J.A. Hat, Matt Shoemaker. Not a bad starting five. Uh, Jordan Belazovic, he's a nice uh, pitching uh, prospect, high potential. We'll see what we want to do with him. We got Devin Smeltzer, Randy Dobnak, Cody Sashdak, uh, Stashak, uh, Hansel Rob uh, Robles, Tyler Duffy, setup man, Alex Colome, who's uh, decent. And then Taylor Rogers is our closer. Uh, so honestly, the team is pretty good, but. I think there's a couple moves we can make now to make the team even better. Uh, definitely getting a left fielder would probably be our number one priority, a better outfielder. Um, so let's see what I can do. Let's see what, see what I can muster up. Uh, maybe even a better second baseman as well. Um, probably those two. And then maybe if I want to get a better first baseman, that'll be like secondary. But yeah, let's see what we can do. Alright guys, I'm not a mind-blowingly amazing move, but I think this is a good trade. Um, we're gonna get Tyler O'Neill from the Cardinals. Uh, 25 year old, high potential. Uh, he'll be our starting left fielder. Uh, he's got a little bit of pop, good fielder. So we're gonna get him for Brandon Waddle, Rob Refsnyder, and Manuel Gonzalez. So we also clear up a little bit of cap as well as by doing this, but really not too much. So I'm gonna do this deal. We're gonna get a left fielder, uh, Tyler O'Neill. That is our first trade of the day. Hey guys, I'm gonna do this deal with the with the Orioles. We're gonna get Trey Mancini and Mickey Janis from the Orioles. I'm gonna give up Trey Cabbage, Lewis Thorpe, and Zhu Wei Lin. Uh, so we get Trey Mancini. I think he's slightly an upgrade over Miguel Sano. I think he's a little bit better, possibly. Uh, so we're gonna do that deal. Uh, I think we might try to do one more deal. Uh, or maybe not. I think I think we'll. Uh, you know what I think we'll do? I think we'll keep the team the way it is. Um. Granted, we do need a catcher, but I don't know. I think we're a little bit better. I'm going to simulate to the trade deadline. If I need to make a move, then I will. But we didn't really trade that many prospects. So we still have those possibly for future trades, assuming that my team doesn't screw anything up. So uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline and see how we're doing. I'm right around trade deadline. Actually, I'm pretty much at trade deadline. We're 66 and 40, and we are seven games up on our division. So we have a pretty good stronghold on that, which is nice. Let's take a look at the lineups here. Byron Buxton has been cold as of late, but he's having an okay season. Luis um, Arreyes, uh is doing pretty good. Uh, he's hot, been hot as of late, uh, which is good. Uh, not too bad stats. Nelson Cruz, 
He's having a good season. He's been cold as of late, though, but, you know, he's doing decent. He's a DH, so. Um, Josh Donaldson's having a nice year. Uh, Trey Mancini's doing okay. Um, wish he was doing a little bit better, I'm not going to lie. Um, Miguel Sano is, you know, kind of off the bench. I mean, the bench is okay. It's not too bad. Gabriel Mance, uh, Gabriel's doing good in a limited amount of time from Brazil. Uh, Max Kepler is having a decent year. Andrew Simmons is doing meh. I might look to maybe move him. Uh, Tyler O'Neill, uh, I traded for him. He's kind of struggling a little bit. He's been a little bit cold. Uh, hopefully he can pick that up. And then Mitch Garver is doing kind of meh. But, I mean, we'll keep him around. I want to see if I can maybe trade for Andrews and Simmons. I'm not really sure if I want to re-sign him. Let me just take a look at who's up for extensions. I guess Byron Buxton is a free agent. Didn't know that. I thought he had, I thought we had another year of him. Oh, my connection to the show has been lost. What does that mean? Does that mean the game is broken? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Um... Weird. Uh, anyways, uh, so I guess I would have to re-sign Byron Buxton. Uh, but everyone else here, Angela Simmons, Michael Pineda is a free agent, Alex Colome is a free agent, Nelson Cruz is a free agent, Trey Mancini is on arbitration. So we actually have a lot of free agents here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Uh, Jake Belazovic is in the uh, minors for some reason, but I guess because he struggled a lot. Um, I don't know if I want to keep Andrew and Simmons. I might want to sign a, a free agent, uh, like shortstop. So we might look to trade him. Um, especially since he's not having that great of a season. Uh, but let me take a look at my bullpen before I do anything else. Uh, Kente Maeda is having a very nice year. Jose Barris has been kind of foreign, so I've been kind of struggling a little bit. Michael is having a good season, so I might extend him. Uh, Matt Shoemaker is doing meh, and then J.A. Happ is doing decent. Uh, honestly, they're not, they're not doing all right. They're doing okay. Let's take a look at our bullpen. Devin Smelter is doing good. Randy Dobnak is doing good. Uh, Cody uh, Stashak is doing okay. Uh, Hansel Robles is doing good. Taylor Rogers is struggling. Alex Colome is doing decent. And Tyler Duffy is now our closer. He's having a good season. So uh, I'm going to sign my guys. I'm going to see if I have to make any trades because I might look to move Angela Simmons for better shortstop. All right, guys, I'm going to do this deal with the Dodgers. Corey Seager is, for some reason, just, like, unbelievable in this game. I don't know why he's so good. Uh, I'm going to keep him, too. Uh, he's having a great season. We're going to trade away Andrew Zibbers and Jordan Belazovic, even though he's a high-potential guy. He's just not in the majors. So I'm just going to do this deal. We still have a lot of our prospects anyway. We drafted more people, so... I'm going to do this deal. We're going to get Corey Seager, um, and I'm not going to look back. All right, guys, so we finished the season 99-63. We won our division. We're going to be taking on the winner of the wild card playoff game uh, between the White Sox and the Indians. So I am kind of curious to see the standings uh, because it looks to me like we were the best team in the N in AL. Uh, the NL is clearly the Dodgers. I mean, the Dodgers are just uh, OP. Uh, so they're clearly the best team in the league. Byron Buxton uh, finished the season the hot. You love to see that. Luis um, Arias, he also had a really nice year, which is good. Corey Seager, I told you guys, he hit 367. I like, I extended him. He is for some reason just like OP in this game. He's honestly but probably the best shortstop, like to get. I like I I'm actually genuinely serious. Like he for some reason he just he just does so well. Um, in, 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 in the, uh, in the simulation. Nelson Cruz had a really good year. Uh, even though he ended up the season cold, he had a really good season. Josh Donaldson was decent. Max Kepler kind of struggled a little bit. Might want to get a new right fielder. Um, he still keep him, but maybe get a new right fielder. Trey Mancini was okay. Uh, Tyler O'Neill was, mm, I wish he was a little bit better, but hopefully he'll be better next year. Uh, he should be a good player. And the Mitch Garver was, you know, did his job. I'm just looking at the uh, bench, not too bad. Uh, Miguel Sano definitely struggled a bit. Uh, might look to move on from him and his contract, uh, especially considering we have a lot of guys that can play first base uh, if necessary. Um, so, yeah, we might look to move on from Miguel Sano uh, in the offseason. Kente Maeda, he had a really nice year. Jose Barrios uh, did decent. 
Uh, Michael Pineda, solid season. Matt Shoemaker was uh, kind of ended the season on a cold streak. J same with Jay Hat, but he still had a good year. Uh, Devin Speltzer, not too bad in the bullpen. 6 and 0 was undefeated, just a little high in the RA. Uh, Randy Dobnak, good year from him. Uh, Cody Sta uh, Stashak, we relied on him a lot, <laughs> it looks like, uh, to pitch. Uh, Hansel Robles had a good year. Taylor Rogers kind of struggled a little bit. Alex Colome, not too bad. And then Tyler Duffy had a good year. Uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of happy with the team, not going to lie. Uh, let's see who I end up taking on. We're going to be taking on the Cleveland Indians in the first round who ended up beating the White Sox. Wow, three, three AL Central teams made the playoffs. And if you want to count the Astros, who used to be an NL Central team, you could. <laughs> As... <laughs> Uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. All right, anyways, all right, let's just simulate. Game one against Cleveland Indians, we beat them. Game two, we lose. Game three, we win. Can we win game four? We do, and we're going to the ALCS, take the, on the Houston Astros in the ALCS. This should be a fun series. Let's see if we can beat them. Game one against the Astros, we do beat them. Can we win game two? We lose 2-0. Game three, we win 8-3. Game four, we win. Game five, we lose. Can we win game six? We do. We won 18-3, and we're taking on the Dodgers. Uh, this is a tough series because they won 115 games, but you never know, guys. You never know with the Twins. In the World Series, our first season, love to see it. Game one, we lose 10-0 to them. Game two, we win 9-4. Can we win game three? We don't win game three. Game four, we lose, and game five, we win. Can we win two straight games? Oh, my God, game seven. We actually could win this, but we lose. We could win it, but we lose. Honestly, making it to a game seven against the 115 win Dodgers, I, I can't be mad. Uh, we can only go up from here, right? Right, MLB The Show, right? We can only go up from here. Knowing them, probably not. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a lot of money in free agency. And I, what I, mean, I, I mean, we have a lot of money. So there's a lot we could do here. Honestly, Freddie Freeman... Freddie Freeman would be a shout. I'm going to have to go for Freddie Freeman. He actually doesn't want that much money over 15 years. I mean, we'll take Freddie Freeman. We have so much money, by the way, guys. Like, it's actually crazy. Honestly, I'll just, to ensure that I get Freddie Freeman, I'm going to do this. I think we're going to get Freddie Freeman. Michael Conforto, as well, would be a nice right field signing. Because I said I wanted the better right fielder. Michael Conforto, we bring him back to the, we bring him, wasn't he on the Twins? I'm pretty sure he played on the Twins, right? No, why am I saying, he, he looks like a Twins player, though. He actually would look really good in a Twins uniform. I don't know why I said, did he ever play on the Twins? I was like, that's really stupid. I, I look like an idiot. I don't know why. I'm thinking of someone else that played on the Twins that, like, looks like him. Can't remember his name. But, um, yeah, we're going to try to go for him. Uh, Roberto Perez is here. Not too bad of a, not too bad, honestly. Maybe we go after him. We could go after Kenley Jansen, Keon Kella to make the bol bolster up the bullpen a little bit. I wouldn't be too upset about that. Obviously, I would like a, I would like a, a starting pitcher. Uh, doesn't have to be Noah Syndergaard, but like a starting pitcher would be nice. So probably just offer Keon Kella. Hmm, how did Angel Justin Simmons do? Yeah, he didn't have that great of a year. Carlos Rendon wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I could go after someone mid. Just so we have some cap, but there's really only... There's really not that many guys, so... Michael Lorenzen. You know what? We'll offer Noah Syndergaard. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, guys. I'll do it. It's fine. Oh, you know, I'll give Carlos Rendon a contract, too. Because I can. So we'll give... We'll give... We'll give Syndergaard that offer and he'll accept it uh carlos rondon will throw him an offer why not just because we can i'll give him seven million dollars a 6.9 we'll go with that that should be good enough all right so we end up getting noah Syndergaard, michael conforto freddie freeman um so i'm happy about that i'm not gonna make any more signings we're just gonna Hopefully, hopefully keep some of our guys. I might need to make a move. I will. I'm probably going to trade Miguel Sano. Actually, now that I think about it, because I don't really want him. So I'll just take like prospects for him. I'll just deal with the Brewers. We're going to get Thomas Waller and Freddie Hoffman. 
two prospects, Thomas Waller being an A potential. For Miguel Sano, we're just going to do this deal just in case we need some trade bait, possibly. Uh, but that's only that's the last thing I'm going to do, guys. So we're just going to keep the team the way it is, and uh, I'll uh, see you guys at the start of the season. All right, guys, we're at the start of the season, and honestly, we're literally top seven in everything except second base. And that's literally because... Luis Arias is our second baseman. I'm not going to trade him. I, I'm going to keep him around. So you got Byron Buxton, Luis Arias, Corey Seager, uh, Freddie Freeman, Michael Conforto, Josh Donaldson, Nelson Cruz, Tyler O'Neill, and Mitch Garver. I'm liking the team a lot. Off the bench, Jake Cave, really missed uh, Studio, Trey Mancini, and Jorge Polanco with Max Kepler as well now. Uh, honestly, the team is looking kind of solid. I'm not going to lie. Uh, uh, the rotation's not too bad either. Noah Syndergaard, Jose Barrios, Kente Maeda, Carlos Rondon, we got him, and Michael Patena, and with J.A. Happ going to the bullpen. Alex Colon, Randy Dobnak, Hansel Robles with Tyler Duffy, Keon Kella, obviously we picked him up. If you didn't know, now you know. And then Taylor Rogers. Team is solid. The team is really, really good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm liking the team. I am. I really think we have a good team. The real question is, though, is do we have any prospects left or did the team uh f up in yeah they effed up they effed up they effed up we have nobody so why game why does it do this well i don't know could we i guess we could in theory sign prospects right like if we really really wanted to we could go we can go here and sign I'm sure there's like a prospect where well, I'm sure we're going to go after a lot of these guys. Probably definitely going to pick up uh, Yadier Molina. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. I'm going to simulate to the deadline. I'll show you guys the stats when I get there. Okay. Don't need him, but I'll take him. Can I get Shane Bieber? If I can get Shane Bieber, I was about to say, if I can get Shane Bieber, honestly, there might be a way I can get Shane Bieber. How is he? How is he on the block? Oh, what a surprise. Look at who we have on the team unbelievable we have friggin what's his face um honestly can i trade josh donaldson i might trade josh donaldson for a catcher i mean jose is having a good season i like josh donaldson going to be wrong but but if i can get a catcher for josh donaldson you know i'm gonna do it Honestly, guys, I'm going to do this with the Padres. I think we're going to get Ha Seung Kim and Victor Caratini for Josh Donaldson. So we get a catcher, we save some money. It's, I mean, I decided to need a catcher. I just got Jose Ramirez. I mean, all right. Could have got Buster Posey, actually. That would have been a decent trade, but since he's having a good season. But honestly, I'm okay with it. Alec Bohm is here. Dude, like, what game? Come on now, game. Game, 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 game. All right. Is he in the majors? That's the real question. Yes, he is. Guys, I think we're like, what? Are we at the trade deadline yet? We're close to it. We're 65 and 29. I might as well show you guys the stats. Uh, Byron Buxton's having a good season. Freddie Freeman is here. He's doing pretty well. Corey Seager's having a great year. I mean, we just traded for Jose Ramirez. You guys saw that. Michael Conforto's doing decent. Tyler Neal is not doing that great. Jorge Polanco is our second baseman. If I can get a second baseman, that'd be nice. Uh, Haseon Kim is going to be our DH now, which is fine. And then Victor Caterina will be our catcher. We have two catchers off the bench right now, so we don't have a bench per se. Um, honestly, the really, I would like a second. Well, actually, we have a second baseman, but he's hurt. Luis is hurt, right? Or is he just not in the majors? I think that's what is... Yep, he's not in the majors. Why is he not in the majors? Why is Max Kepler not in the majors? Like, why is it that these guys... Okay, let's do this. We have Kurt Suzuki in the majors. We don't need him here. So we can move him to AAA. I have to clear him through waivers. You gotta be kidding me, game. Robinson Chirinos, can I move him to AAA? Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up Luis to the MLB. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I, I don't know why the game likes to screw with me, but they do. 
So that, I, I, I think we're good. Um, I would have liked to have gotten Shane Bieber, but I can't get him. I think because I made the trade for Jose Ramirez. Uh, I have a few free agents I need to worry about, so I'm going to do that. And I'll see you guys once I uh, end the year. Actually, completely forgot to show you guys the pitching rotation. Let me show you that guy. Let me show you that really quick. Syndergaard's amazing. Jose Barros doing really well. Kente Maeda is doing really well. Cross Rondon's kind of struggling a little bit. Michael Pena is having a good season. Randy Dobnak is our long reliever. Limited amount of time, he's doing good. Uh, Colome. I mean, the bullpen's a little thin because a lot of them are in the minors, but yeah, what are you going to do? All right, now I'll see you guys at the end. All right, guys, so we went 116.56. Uh, we actually started the season off a lot hard, hotter. We kind of feel like we ended it not as great, but we still had a good year. 106 wins. We won our division. We're taking on the winner between the Angels and the White Sox. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Byron Buxton, decent year from him. Uh, Luis Arias, he's now starting at second in the limited amount of time. He was in the minors most of the year. We've got Corey Seager, who had another nice season. Uh, definitely not as good as last year, but hard to hard to match what he did last year. Like, I mean, that, you know what? He had a great year. Uh, Jose Ramirez, great season from him, as well as Freddie Freeman. He had a nice year. Michael Ford is now at the DH, which is cool, I guess, because Max Kepler is here in right field. Uh, Tyler O'Neal, uh, a little bit cold end of the year, but, uh, you know, not too bad. And then um, T Victor Cater Cater uh, Caratini, he was not too bad. He had a good year. Uh, ha Seung Kim, kind of struggled a little bit. Nico Goodrum, uh, and his limit on time here was good. Jake Cave, he's been on fire, which is good. Jorge Polanco, Robinson Chirinos, um, you know. They're coming off the bench, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, Syndergaard, nice season from him. Same with Barrios. He had a good year. Kente Maeda, nice season. Carlos Rondon picked it up, which is good. Um, and Michael Pineda, a good year from him. Uh, seeing here who's in the majors. Alex Colome had a good year. Randy Dobnak. We really rely on him a lot. Uh, Hansel Robles, limited amount of time here, but still did pretty well uh, when he did pitch. Ke uh, Keon Kella kind of struggled. Uh, Taylor Rogers had a really nice, really nice season, actually. And Tyler Duffy was uh, very, very good. Uh, so we're going to be taking on the B -b 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 Los Angeles Angels in the ALDS. Let's see if we can beat them. Game one against the Angels, we do lose 4-3. Game two against them, we win 4-2. Game three, we win 5-4. And game four, we do win. We're taking on the Yankees in the ALCS, back in the ALCS. Let's see if we can beat the Yankees. Uh, by the way, I didn't check the standings. Let me take a look at that really quickly. Uh, so we were 106 wins, uh, best team in the MLB. Where were, how many? Yeah, the Yankees had 95 wins. All right, so we were the best team in the MLB, apparently. Well, let's see. We win game one against the Yankees. Can we win game two against them? No, we don't. Game three, we don't. Game four, we win. It's tied 2-2. We're down 3-2. We got to win two straight. We win one, and we win two. We're, we're back in the World Series. Usually the Yankees beat the Twins in the playoffs. Not this time. Not when I'm the GM. Uh, taking on the Padres. Back in the World Series. Game one against the Padres. We lose 8-7. Game two, we win 4-3. Both games have been close so far. All three games have been close. Another close one. All right, we got to win two straight. And we lose in six to the Padres. Two straight World Series pre appearances, and we can't get it done. That's upsetting, but we got one more season. Got to go all in, do or die this year, twins. All right, guys, so we picked up Aaron Nola. That's our first big signing. Um, I offered Wilson Contreras a contract. Uh, Aaron Judge is still here. I could offer him a contract. I offered Whit Merrifield. I tried to get Chad Green. He doesn't want to come to our team, but I'm going to try again. Maybe if I just give him a lot of money, he'll want to come here, possibly. Uh, but if I can't get him, that's fine. Honestly, I'll throw an offer at Aaron Judge, because I can. I'm going to do that. I'd, not that I need Aaron Judge. All right, Wilson Contreras does not want to come to our team. That's a bit of a problem. We do get Whit Merrifield. Chad Green decides to come with us, which is good. Uh, but I really, really need Wilson. I actually really need Wilson Contreras on the team. The Dodgers are going after him. Cannot have the those pesky Dodgers getting him. So... I'm going to give him a big contract, and hopefully he signs with us. I don't need Aaron Judge. Cool, I don't need Aaron Judge. You can go to the Athletics. Uh, I'm cool with that. Um, Joe Musgrove goes to the Giants. We still don't have Wilson Contreras. I really would love to have Wilson Contreras on the team, and we get Wilson Contreras. That is a big signing for us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to go to uh, arbitration and all that. Try to pick up or keep the guys that were on arbitration. 
hopefully we don't lose so many people, but honestly, the team is stacked, so I'm okay with what happens. Well, guys, this is the third and final season. Whit Merrifield's going to be the DH. We've got Luis Arias right now, second base. Don't know how long that's going to stay like that because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of guys moving back and forth into the minors. Corey Seager's here, Jose Ramirez is here, Freddie Freeman's here, Michael Conforto, Wilson Contreras, big signing, Byron Buxton's in center, Tyler O'Neill in left. Honestly, the, the lineup is uh, kind of ridiculous. The bench is also pretty good too. Victor uh, Caratini, Max Kepler, Jorge Polanco, Trey Mancini, not too bad. I'm liking the team. Uh, yeah, the team might be the best. Like in terms of like, this could be one of the best teams I've ever had, possibly. Possibly. I'm not going to jinx it. Aaron Nola, starting pitcher. We've got Noah Syndergaard, Jose Barros, Kente Maeda, and Carlos Rendon. Michael Pineda's in the bullpen with Daniel Lynch. Taylor Rogers, Alex Colome, Randy Dobnak, Tyler Duffy, Keon Kella, and Chad Green. Dude, this team has so many good players, guys. There's so many good players. Um, and I, I, I already know, because we don't have enough people, what's going to happen is a lot of these guys are going to get sent down. As long as we get, as long as we win the World Series, I don't care. But the real question is, will we win? We have a really good team. I'm going to simulate. I'll see you guys once we get the trade deadline. All right, guys. We're, we're at the trade deadline. 66 and 35. We have a good hold on our division. Uh, and I mean, we're practically almost top five in everything except left field. Um, if Tyler O'Neill could just develop just a couple, a little bit better, it'd be great. But it is what it is. I'm cool with it. I mean, the team is stacked. Whit Merrifield's having a good se uh, pretty good season. Uh, Freddie Freeman's great. Uh, Corey Seager's having a great year. Jose Ramirez doing well. Michael Cavoro's been struggling, but he's been hot as of late, which is nice. Max Kepler's actually playing really well, which is good to see. Wilson Contreras, uh, he's, you know, I mean, it's a catcher. Byron Buxton, struggling a little bit, not gonna lie. Uh, and then Tyler O'Neill has been not that great. Uh, Victor Car Caratini, he's the only guy that we have because... Yeah, like I said, Luis Arias got sent down. All those other guys, Trey Mancini. It's fine, though. It's, and, and also, the bullpen's a lot thinner than what it should be. Uh, Pitching-wise, Syndergaard having a good season. Aaron Nola's doing well. Jose Barros doing well. Carlson Jones doing well. And Kendi Maeda. Honestly, the rotation is pretty good. I like the rotation. I think Dobnak's having a good year. Uh, Taylor Rogers having a good season. Alex Columbus having a good season. Keon Kella. Tyler Duffy's struggling. And Chad Green's uh, was a good pickup. Yeah, Tyler Duffy's not having that good of a year. Hopefully, he can pick that up. But uh, yeah, the team is stacked. I don't know what to do. Um, the the only thing that's weird though is my record. I feel like the record could be a little bit better. The Athletics are having a better season than us for whatever reason. So are the Dodgers. But uh, honestly, don't care about that as long as we uh, get back to the World Series and win. I want to win. Well, guys, we went 103-59, won our division. We're taking on the Red Sox in the ALDS. So, Oakland had a better record than us, obviously. 105 wins. Braves won 103. The Dodgers won 110. So, there's some there's some stacked teams in the league. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at the team. Byron Buxton picked it up. Uh, Luis Arias uh, in his limited amount of time here. I mean, cool, I guess. I guess the problem is Whit Merrifield got hurt. Corey Seager phenomenal year again like Corey Seager's a cheat code uh Jose Ramirez good season from him uh Freddie Freeman had a nice year Michael Fordo did decent he's been on fire which is good uh Max Kepler was an all-star which is good to see uh Wilson Carrera is kind of cold and then Tyler O'Neill uh, also finished the season a little bit cold and then the bench not too bad Jorge Blanco in a limited amount of time here hit well uh Victor Caratini not a bad backup so, Whit Merrifield's hurt, I think. Cedric Ebanks is hurt. Wait. Where's Whit Merrifield? Yeah, why is he not... Why is he not here? Okay. Um, who shouldn't be on the MLB roster that is Daniel Lynch? Let's, uh... Can I release him? Is there anyone on the MLB roster that I don't? Like, I don't want here. Rick Slade, Jake Cave. Oh, we'll get rid of Jake Cave, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd rather have Whit Merrifield in the playoff roster, obviously. Um, 
pitching rotation. Let's take a look here. Aaron Nola. Uh, Noah Syndergaard. Aaron Nola had a nice year. Noah Syndergaard did well. Uh, Jose Barris had a really good year. Carlos Rondon had a very nice season. And uh, Ken Demeda kind of struggled a little bit. But he did. I think he still ended up doing well. Rick Slade. Uh, we actually, I'm pretty sure, signed him. And now I think about it. I actually want him on the playoff roster. Daniel Lynch. Taylor Rogers, uh, Randy Dobnak, Alex Coloma. They all did well, honestly, which is good. Keon Kello picked it up. He did better. Tyler Duffy. Actually, no, maybe my bad. He actually did well. Tyler Duffy had a uh, bad year, and then Chad Green did well. Um, I actually want to double check my roster now that I think about it. So, wait, Rick Slade. Oh, I, I, I right, right, right. Jay Cave is on the. Uh, on the uh, I took him off. So what does that mean then for my Ross for my uh, lineup? I'm just curious. I mean, Whit Merrifield could play outfield, and so can I guess Willi Williams. Yeah, so we're good, honestly. I mean, I don't care as long as we win. Taking on Boston, game one against Boston. Let's see what happens here. We win seven one. Game two, we lose five three. Game three, we lose, and we choke. Reds beat the Red Sox. Somehow the Reds won the World Series. I mean, okay. That's a weird way to end the video. I'm a little upset, not gonna lie. Would have thought that we could have won the World Series with this team, and we didn't. We went to two straight World Series, and we couldn't get it done. And then we choke in the ALDS versus the Red Sox. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a bit of a disappointment. I'm not going to lie. That was a bit of a disappointment, see, disappointing ending to the game. Um, but, you know, you win some, you lose some, right? Um, let's just close out the video. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, comment down with some more some video ideas. Also, check out my description. It has a playlist containing other MLB The Show franchise rebuilds and my socials like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Reddit, all down below there. Uh, thought we could have won it. <sighs> really upset that we didn't win it, but hey, you know, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. However, we got one more NL Central team to rebuild. That'll be the St. Louis Cardinals. That'll be on tomorrow's video. Uh, but we're all done with the NL Central. Um, which is cool. So now we're gonna be going on to the AL West. Um, and then once we do the NL Central, we'll also move on to the NL West. All West teams. So 10 more teams, pretty much after the Cardinals. Uh, making good time. Then I'll do, I'll try to mix in some like other rebuilding scenarios for franchise. That way I'm just not killing it off the channel. Maybe we'll do some other MLB re videos. Maybe some more stadium builds uh, to look forward to. Maybe Road to the Show. I don't know if you guys wanna see me actually play the game. Um, but I will mix in some other games too. For those that want to see me play some other games, I will mix in some other games. Don't worry. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Enjoy the night. Hope you all soon. Peace.